I'm Joe Nemchek. I'm uh, one of the actors here in the uh, Zombie Chronicle series. What's your character's name? Uh, Ernie, I believe. Although we, I don't think we really no, use yeah. it. I, I haven't heard the name yet. <laughs> oh, okay. um, right. so how did you get into? Uh, how did you get linked up with Doug? I uh, was looking through Craigslist uh, about five years ago, just looking to uh, try to figure out how I could learn something about acting, and uh, saw that Doug Plamatala was in Norwalk, and you know I answered his ad. <laughs> And we started shooting five years ago, and here we are. And what are some of the projects you're working on? Uh, well, this the Zombie Chronicle series is pretty big. Um, there's uh, there's a there's another deal where someone we're going to make DVDs and uh, actually start you know selling uh, some of the Scared Stiff uh, anthology. So uh, it's pretty exciting. Hopefully, uh, there's some there's some new projects coming up. Doug has a little child now, so you know things might slow down a little bit. But I, I, I kind of think he's going to keep going. <laughs> so, um, and what are some of the other uh, shows that, you, besides the Zombie Chronicles, that you? Uh, we did uh, two, um, uh, you know, a, a movie called Whisper in the Wind, and uh, and it was myself and my niece, and. Uh, it was kind of an interesting story. It was kind of, it was kind of, you know, dark. Um, and my niece did a uh, fantastic job her first time. Uh, so we put her in a couple of other ones. She was in one of our most watched episodes, which was Closet Monster. Um, was uh, Judy Nemchek and uh, Dina Montefuscoli. So uh, yeah, the you know the Whisper in the Wind series, two of those uh, sequel, Whisper in the Wind two, um, and then we did uh, My Last Words. That was uh, you know that was a pretty uh, popular one. Um, I was in Alone with uh, Annalisa Robinson. She's one of the she's one of the uh, Scared Stiff uh, regulars. Um, it was in the Scarecrow with George Walsh, another another scared stiff regular. So it's it's a lot of fun. We we have fun getting together. Uh, when we're not acting, we're doing uh, sound or lights or you know whatever needs to be done. And how is the Zombie Chronicles filming going this far? It, it's it's unbelievable. Uh, <clears throat> the first year, the first show was uh, was an introduction to the characters. Um, it's probably one of the first ones where we had a lot of characters in it. Uh, there were six, uh, six, you know, all of them uh, uh, accomplished or semi-accomplished actors, and uh, uh, it, it came out great. Uh, it's, the second uh, one was really intense. Charles Rosenay, uh, the Beatles uh, of Beatles fame. Yeah, he he got killed in the in the second one. He revealed that he was a priest. So it was uh, it was pretty exciting. I'm I'm really looking forward to the third one. Some of this is going to be used in the third one, actually. Now, have you have had any uh, acting training? Have you went to school? Uh, no, I went to the school of Scared Stiff. I think, uh, you know, when when I when I first met him, I you know I told him I wanted to do it, and we you know we tried uh, some some basic voiceover stuff, and um, you know I'm just try to get a feel for it and try to, you know, I, I do want to take acting classes. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're getting involved in an art school right now and we're probably going to seek out uh, some professionals to, uh, to teach acting. So uh, I think I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, who's writing the scripts? Uh, most of them, I think Doug writes himself, but uh, he he does get scripts from uh, various sources, you know, that various uh, uh, viewers. And um, there's a guy named Bob Media in uh, Chicago that's uh, contributed a couple of them. Uh, Something in the water. Um, he did the Scarecrow one too, I think. Uh, so he, he does, uh, the, the, the um, My Last Words was written by a guy named Jose Hildalgo, um, who is a Mexican guy who lives in Germany. And uh, he, he wrote that script. And so it's kind of, the internet kind of makes the world smaller these days 
we have fans in, in a lot of different countries. Um, do you have, uh, are you involved with social uh, networking? Do you have like Facebook, Twitter? Scared Stiff is uh, is on uh, all social media, I would say. Uh, they they, uh, they do, um, you know, there's a Facebook uh, page, but YouTube, when you go to the YouTube page, uh, you can get all of the uh, Scared Stiff videos. Um, and, uh, you know, with, there's a lot of websites that feature the videos, so they, the, those, those hits don't show up on YouTube. So he's got some great videos on there with, you know, four or five thousand hits that, you know, could easily have a lot more. I, I think they do have a lot more, actually. We're getting a lot of visibility now. Now, what do you see for the future of this, of this team, Scared Stiff? Well, I, I, I really hope that Doug uh, latches on to uh, somebody in the, uh, in the you know, movie business. Uh, you know, I think he, there's, he's definitely somebody they can take seriously now, and uh, and he's actually talking to people. So hopefully uh, one day he gets a big project, and uh, you know he gets all these people that that worked with him along the way involved in it. You know, that would be great. And how how do you feel about some of the other actors that you're working with on this on this uh, Zombie Chronicles? You know, like I said, it's every, every shoot is a blast. We have fun. Uh, uh, you know, we all get together. It's a long day. You know, sometimes you're there at eight o'clock in the morning. Doug's always an hour late, and uh, you know, it's it's an all day thing. It's an ordeal. Uh, after uh, the Zombie Chronicles, uh, me and Brian Farmer were buddies. You know, and uh, we still keep in touch. Yeah, so it was it was uh, you know, it was a good. Uh, it's always it's always fun to uh, kind of get together. Everybody's got this common goal. You know. Okay, so any last words you want to say today? No, uh, just uh, keep watching our videos, uh, get those hits up on YouTube, and, you know, look for us to get a TV spot someday. I think uh, Spike TV might be calling our name one of these days. <laughs>